Thank you. It is a little hot in here, but we almost actually had last night's commencement ceremony indoors. Uh, I made the call to keep it outside, even though it was a little risky. They told me, uh, I got one thing right. All year I got one thing right, but that was important to you, right? So they told me I had about two, two and a half hour window. And I walked in here first, it was about 110 degrees, literally, it had to be at least 15 degrees warmer, and I just felt people would pass out. And I really didn't want to separate families. You know, I hate that when you have it indoors and you can only do two tickets and the grandparents are somewhere in some remote location. So fortunately it worked out. We were really very privileged. But after I made the call that we were going to have it outside, somebody came up to me and they said, President Shapiro, don't you know there could be lightning? It could be really dangerous. And I said, you know what? I'm going to be there on the stage in the front. I'm going to be in front of a live mic and I'm going to be having five pounds of bling around my neck. <laughs> so I said, if somebody's getting fried, it's the little guy, trust me. So, uh, so with that, we were really privileged. Uh, I'm also privileged to be here today. Uh, Weinberg College of Arts and Sciences. Sarah, you gave a great talk. I used to be a dean of arts and sciences, so I know it's kind of a tough talk to give because there's such a disparate group of people out there in the audience representing all these great liberal arts disciplines. Um, Weinberg's the core, you probably know. Last night when I gave you all your degrees, I mentioned it was the oldest college at Northwestern University, but it's also, of course, the intellectual core of any great university as it is here at Northwestern. It, in fact, is my intellectual home, economics. economics. Thank you, thank you. So of all the ones I'm doing, I have to tell you, this is the one, that's, this is where my home is. So I mentioned in my brief remarks last night, you might recall that, although Sarah says you don't recall these things, I, I don't even, not only do I not remember who the speaker was at my own graduation, I don't remember if I went. Uh, you know, 60s, 70s, ask your parents, they'll explain what those years were like, but they'll probably lie. Uh, anyway, so I know I have a degree because I see it on my resume, but um, I got to say, I pointed out that if I had anything really wise to tell our graduates, I would not have waited to the last weekend. But if you bear with me for maybe two minutes, I do have actually something to tell you that I feel is important. And it's not about going out and living the life of the mind and continuing to educate yourselves. Of course, that's important. It's not about serving society. That's important. It's about friendship. And the reason I tell you is that not only, as Sarah said, we as part of our jobs attend a lot of graduations, we also attend a lot of reunions. And I can just tell you, all the time, people come up to me, it's their five-year reunion, 10, 25, 50, whatever, and they come up to me and they say, President Shapiro, I want you to meet, you know, Joe or Sally. We were roommates, you know, we were so close. We just lived each other's lives in such an amazing, intense way. And then I always follow up and say, well, well, when's the last time you were together? And quite often, they say, oh, our families are friends, we do vacations together, and you know, it's still a very important part of my life. But more often than that, believe it or not, somebody says, oh, I haven't seen this person, this person who was so important to the development of my life and my identity and my character. I haven't seen this person in five years, 10, 25, or 50. So here's my message to you. You know it takes a lot of work to keep a family together. You know it takes a lot of work to be supportive to your spouse, partner, husband, wife, you know, but it also takes a lot of work to keep a friendship going. So if you do anything and you're listening to me at all, let me just tell you, before you leave Northwestern, go up to some of your best friends and hug them and say to them and be serious about it that I am going to work regardless of whether our spouses like each other, our kids like each other, whether I'm working in Singapore, I'm working in Chicago, you know, I'm going to make an effort to keep you in my life because I can tell you, I've attended a lot of 40th and 50th birthday parties as many of your parents and family members have. And sometimes, you know, they're in a hall that seems like as big as this because they're surrounded by friends who support them in the good times and the bad. And sometimes I attend these things and you could hold it in a phone booth. Your parents will describe to you what a phone booth is, by the way. <laughs> so my request is, Cherish those friendships and work to keep them. May you be blessed with lives full of joy and go out there and make us proud. Thank you.